all, all the other kings of the other kingdoms, they knew that the power of Israel reigned on earth and set them up to be kings. That's right. That's why, who was it? Uh, uh, king Josiah. When you read about King Josiah, um, he, he had created, if I could get it in um, First Ezra, he, had, he, had, he set up the, the, uh, the Passover. And right. He said that it was, it, it, was in the yeah, it was King Josiah. But and then uh, um, uh, the king of Egypt, I believe it was, it was the king of Egypt, came mm -hmm. up to fight. Right. And Josiah thought that the king of Egypt was going to fight against him. Right. And the king of Egypt said to Josiah, look, look, um, the mm -hmm. Most High set me up, set me up right. to fight. Right. I didn't come to fight against you. And Josiah right. didn't hearken, and Josiah died. Right, Josiah you know? died because the Most High set up uh, uh, um, the king of Egypt at that time. Right. That's why the Most High put Josiah to death. But, you know, you, yeah. you made the point. Right, I made the point. That's right. So, um, let's go back to uh, 39 verse, uh, 2nd Ezra 11, 39. Okay. But that was the point, like right, the brother the point, said. The right. point is that, that, that w the, the king of Egypt, he knew that the Most High was setting him up. Right. And, and when you read the history... These other kings, like the Persians, the Medes, the Babylonians, the Assyrians, and all that, at one particular time, they knew that the Most High was the power. Right. Because the Most High showed them that he was a power. Even like uh, Pharaoh. That's right. At one time, Pharaoh, the Most High hardened his heart. That's why he did what he did. Exactly. If the Most High would have never hardened Pharaoh's heart, Pharaoh would have been ready to let Israel go exactly. the first plague in, in, in Egypt. Exactly. But the Most High did that so he can show his power. Power, his strength. That's why the Most High has allowed this devil to mount up unto the heavens so that when the Most High brings this devil down the whole world will know surely that's the that's the power that's the the God that's right 39th verse are not thou it that remainest of the four beasts whom I made to reign in my world that's right that the end of their times might come through them that the end of their times might come through them through who through the four beasts mm. so we're at the end right now that's why Ezra, the Most High told Ezra that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. That there wasn't a metaphor. That, that was actual. So, so from the time that Jacob and Esau were born, that was the beginning of the end. Because those were the two empires that were going to that were going to be fighting against each other. And the one that was supposed to be the slave to the other one, which is Esau, would be ruling at the end. And that's why... Uh, uh, um, when you read in the book of Second Ezra, the sixth chapter, that's why the Lord said that the end of this world was going to come during the time of Ezra, mm. because Ezra was going to be living in the time of the end. Right? Wasn't he that said, "Woe is me! Woe is me! Was for who shall deliver me in those days?" Those deaths, and in those evils. And that's those right. Evils. You know. So the Lord already made him know that he was going to be alive in those days. Yeah, Job. Job, Job said, exactly. Though, he said, Job said, the worms eat this body, this body and destroy it. with yep. my eyes shall I see the salvation and of And not God. another. Ooh. He said, and not another. <laughs> All right? So this bullshit that these people are here, look, the, the, the reincarnation exists in the scriptures. All right? Oh, they just don't understand and the Most High blinded them. All right? That's the bottom line. So go ahead, brother. 41st. And the fourth came. And overcame all the beasts that were past. Why did the fourth, when the fourth came, which is the Roman Empire, why did it overcome all the pe beasts that were past? Because the Most High set it up. Okay? And had power over the world with great fearfulness. And when the Romans took over, everybody feared the Romans. It was, it, it, like, but, but, but it's funny because prior to that, when the, when the Persians was in power, everybody feared the Persians. When the Greeks were in, um, I'm sorry, when the, when the, um, Babylonians were in power, everybody feared the, the, uh, the, um, the Babylonians. When the Greeks were in power, everybody feared the Greeks. Just like when Mike Tyson was, was, a uh, reigning champion, everybody, like a lot of, pe a lot of people was afraid of Mike, mm -hmm. to fight Mike Tyson. Yeah. That's why a lot of them guys were there, they were all shaky, and then Mike Tyson was knocking them out. Because they were afraid. Right. Because the Most High had set them up at that time. Mm -hmm. his, yeah. uh, his, his, his reputation preceded him. Exactly. Like and, 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 and that reputation was being coupled with all the different stories of, of things that, that these nations were doing. Right. So that's why people, when they heard about these, these uh, uh, nations, and them, they, they coming to get you. Right. Their they, they heart turned into stone. That happened during the time of Joshua. You know, at, at, uh, during the time of Joshua, right? When that's the, right. Whenever, when they were taking when the down, Can when the, we were taking the Canaanites down, right, the Canaanites down. They feared. That's right. why that one uh, particular. So, sorry, brother. <laughs> 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 that's why that one uh, um, um, 
the Canaanites, they came and they 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 feigned themselves that they had came on a long journey. They had right, they had right, they right. said we had fresh bread, it's right. all mildewed up. We had water, we had this, and then we had water in, in the in these uh, um and these are uh, uh, what you call it, and they busted, yeah. you know. And we come on the long, our shoes all worn out, our mm -hmm. clothes all tattered. We came on a long journey because we heard of your greatness, right? right? And what did Joshua say? He said, "Look, I right, we're not going, we're not going to do you no harm because the Most High already set it up for us to take down the Canaanites." Mm -hmm. But then when he found out that they lied to him, what did he do? He made them slaves, mm. right? Because they feared Israel. One time we were feared. Believe it or not, at one time we were feared, right. and it's and it's still so today. Yep. The only problem is that Jake don't know that they're, that they're Israelites. Right. right. <coughs> Go ahead, brother. All right. And uh, and and the forty first again. And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were past and had power over the world with great fearfulness and over the whole compass of the earth with much wicked oppression. And so long time dwelt he upon the earth with deceit. For the earth hast thou not judged with truth. And these so-called white people have not tr uh, judged the world with truth. Beginning going back to the Greeks, the Romans, all the way up until today. Go ahead. For thou hast afflicted the meek. Thou hast hurt the peaceable. Thou hast loved liars. And that's the so-called white men, the Edomites. They have, all these things fit them. These are all characteristics of the so-called white man Go ahead. and destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit mm -hmm. and has cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm and then there's so much information that we could bring but we're trying to stay focused on 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 just on the history right now but there's so much you can bring out just on this one verse right here matter of fact brother um, go from there go to the uh, 12th chapter okay. and I uh, read the first and the uh, first verse to the third verse, and then jump down to ten. Okay. Second Ezra chapter twelve verse one. And it came to pass, whilst the lion spake these words unto the eagle, I saw, and behold, the head that remained and the four wings appeared no more, and the two went unto it and set themselves up to reign, and their kingdom was small and full of uproar. Go ahead. And I saw, and behold, they appeared no more, and the whole body of the eagle was burnt, so that the earth was in great fear. And this is talking about the nuclear destruction, man. The whole earth, when, 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 America, when America is destroyed, the whole earth is going to be in fear. Because it's not just going to be one building, or two buildings, or, or, or one city. It's going to be the whole of America, man. You know? Because... If, if you only burn down one building or one city, I mean, yeah, people will get nervous a little bit, but it ain't going to be as bad as if they burned the whole country down. Exactly. People will be nervous. Go ahead. Okay. So the earth was in great fear. Then I, then awaked I out of the trouble and trance of my mind, and from great fear and said unto my spirit. All right, now jump down to the 10th verse. 10th verse. And he said unto me, this is the interpretation of the vision. The eagle whom thou sawest come up from the sea is the kingdom which was seen in the vision vision of thy brother Daniel. Which is what? The fourth kingdom. <laughs> which you read in, in, in Daniel. Alright, now let's go back. Matter of fact, hold on. Um, go ahead, read on. Okay. Twelfth verse. But it was not expounded unto him. Therefore now I declare unto thee. Because Daniel didn't understand what those visions were that he saw. That's how heavy this thing is. The Most High showed him mysteries, but he didn't un show him the understanding of it at wow. that time. Just like John. Right. right. That's right. And then John is back today. Come. And we know who John is. Exactly. Go ahead. Behold, the days will come, that there shall rise up a kingdom upon earth, and it shall be feared above all the kingdoms that were up before it. Right. And that's the same thing with America. America is the same... Uh, uh, extension of the Roman Empire. Even though you have these other European um, European nations that, that 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 tie into that, the main revival of the Roman Empire is America. Right. 
and those Americas like the modern day Rome then those other uh, um, European nations like the EU or the European Union provinces uh, NATO are nothing more than those ancient kingdoms that were ruling jointly with the Roman Empire back then that some of them helped the, the Roman Empire some of them fought against the Roman Empire the Roman Empire took some of them down some of them broke away from the Roman Empire and, and it was always constant wars and battles amongst each other right. all right guys 14th verse in the same Shall twelve kings reign, one after another? All right, now stop right there. Now let's go from there, back to the book of Daniel, the seventh chapter, where we left off. You know, and then I want to, like I said, I want to show some of these clips, so you brothers can see some of the history. And then we're gonna go to our Lord's will. We go to our Revelation, the seventeenth chapter, so we can hit other points and and tie this whole thing together. Daniel chapter seven, verse seven. After this I saw in the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible, and strong exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth. It devoured and brake in pieces, and stamped the residue with the feet of it. Mm -hmm. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns. Now those ten horns, those ten horns back then were the ancient ten horns. Matter of fact, hold that brother, let's go to that book. The book we're going to go to is uh, um, the Illuminati 666, all right, which is a book. Um, there, were, there, there was an author that wrote the book. I couldn't find the name of the author, but if I find it, I'll, I'll post it up. But this is, this is the book, the Illuminati 666, all right. And uh, I want the brother to read. Um, I want him to read. Um, it's going to be under. I'm sorry, brother. It's going to be under. Um, the um just give me one second um um it's gonna be under i'll just scroll up because i, I can't i can't remember the, the section it's gonna be under the the chapter three that's it chapter three if you have the book um uh, the the page on the book is uh page 159 i believe if i'm not mistaken all right so now i'm gonna have the brother read right there where I got it marked I'm trying to get it up see cuz sometimes with this here we go it's kinda hard to get it cuz it's so much but I got it brother alright as the scriptures reveal the symbolic beasts here represent four pagan nations that will ri arise in se sequence taking dominion man we broke it broke that down what was that that was a, a Babylonians the Medio Persian Empire the Greek Empire and the Roman Empire okay or ruling over the whole no known world at that time. These kings were recorded in history as Babylonian Empire from 605 BC to 539 BC. The Lion. Go ahead. Two, Medo Persian Empire from 538 BC to 331 BC. The Bear. Three, the Grecian Empire. Ruling from 331 B.C. to 168 B.C. Represented as the leopard. 4. The Roman Empire. Ruling from 168 B.C. to 476 A.D. Now this 476 A.D. Jake was already up in there. See, Esau only goes by by timetables that are given. They don't really know the, some of the history in between. Because after 193 A.D. Septimius Severus, which is a black man, took over. And then him and his rival, Persinius Niger, they were having fights, you know. They, those are jakes after 193 A.D. Go ahead. When Rome fell... Right, that's the dragon. Son, the dragon. <clears throat> when Rome fell in 476 A.D., it was to have ten nations that would arise out of its ruins. And then these ten nations, keep in mind, these ten nations were ruling... During the time when the Roman Empire was 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 uh, was around, but they weren't together. They call that's why they call them the barbarians, the barbarian hordes. <laughs> the barbarian you know, hordes. You know, because they, they they were known as the Germanic tribes, and we're gonna give you those those the names of those ancient kingdoms. Go ahead. Thus he said, the fourth beast, Rome, shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth. And shall tread it down and break it in pieces. And the ten horns out of his kingdom are ten kings 
that shall arise, and another shall arise after them, and he shall be diverse from the first, and he shall subdue three kings. Mm -hmm. And then this right here, the three kings that is, sub that is subdued, we're going to go into that, you know, Lord's will, you know, like either in a later show or, or, or later on in, in the lesson. Go ahead. These ten nations are are also recorded in uh, recorded history now as the prophecy of Daniel predicted hundreds of years earlier they were the following the Anglo-Saxons uh, the Franks Alamanni the Lombards mm 